Shrimp is the fruit of the sea. You can barbecue it, boil it, broil it, bake it, saute it. There's um, shrimp kebabs, shrimp creole. Ah, guess again, Bubba, there is one more thing you can do with it. Turn it into a bur shrimp burger. Oh. Been a while since I've seen the movie. Okay, before we begin the burgerfication process, let's take care of another important ingredient, tartar sauce. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? So in a small bowl, let's add one cup of mayonnaise. Always have a backup. <laughs> a quarter cup of diced pickles. I'm doing this instead of relish because it tastes better. Come on, a product that needs to be refrigerated is being sold at room temperature. No red flags. One and a half ounces of chopped dill. The juice of half a lemon. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Notice how I did not intentionally mispronounce it for a crappy overused joke. Take note. One teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of onion powder. And one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Whoa, almost forgot. Three teaspoons of brown mustard. Oh, baby, yeah. Cover this in saran wrap. And store it in the fridge so the flavors get to know each other. My tip, do it the night before. While the sauce sauces, let's burgerfy the shrimp. I got here one pound of shrimp. Make sure they're de-shelled and de-veined. Except it's not a vein, it's... Um... Mm. Ah! Oh, what is wrong with you? Oh <laughs> my god! Anyway, let's toss these in a food processor. And well, and yes, I've seen videos where they chop it all by hand. It came out too coarse, so... I'm okay with just a food processor. Let's chop this to, um... Medium coarseness. All right, you want something like this. You want something mostly paste-like with little bits of sh sh full shrimp still in there. Okay, let's transfer our shrimp to a medium-sized mixing bowl. All right, next, let's add two ounces of green onions. A teaspoon and a half of Old Bay. One cup of panko breadcrumbs. And let's crack in one egg. All right, mix everything together. Yep, uh, this is gonna need another egg. Just a tad more breadcrumbs. Okay, this is the consistency we want. All right, cover this in plastic. And uh, stash this is way in the fridge for about an hour. All right, it's been an hour. And it's time to form our shrimp into patties. All right, let's form it into a ball. About, um, about 10% eh, smaller than a baseball. And then, using moderate pressure, just... Pat, just kind of pat and tap it into the form of a patty. But remember, roll it into something smaller than a baseball. Okay, patty's form. Let's get to cooking. Okay, I have here a large to medium sized frying pan, which we will set over medium high heat. 
and as it and as it heats up, I toss some some oil. Use a bit more oil than you think you need. All right, once it heats up a bit, let's add our shrimp patties. These things cook pretty fast, so meh, about one or two minutes aside. All right, after one or two minutes, let's give them a nice flip. Mmm, nice crusty golden brown. That is what we want. Okay, after a few minutes, transfer our patties to a plate. And now we're gonna assemble the shrimp burger. Here's how you do it. First thing you gotta do, toast up some burger buns. Because if you don't, can you really call yourself a foodie? Then on the bottom bun, lay on a generous spoonful of our tartar sauce. Then our shrimp patty, some pickled red onions, and finally, a leaf of butter lettuce. Yeah, I don't know why it's called that. Just go with it. And finally, our top bun. And our shrimp burger is fully assembled. Mmm. Oh, man. Shrimpberg will... Oh, don't worry. These... Uh, oh, don't worry. These things are so damn tasty. Even Greta Thunberg will turn a blind eye. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm Sierra Jay, making cooking fun. I'm meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and support me on Patreon. Yeah, 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 I didn't shave. Man, when you move house, scheduling gets all kinds of messed up.